What's going on guys, Alan here and today I'm bringing you guys my top 5 games that I'm most excited for in 2013. Now this is not a complete list of, for instance, the top 5 games of 2013, so if you think that's what this is, it's not. It's just the top 5 that games that, I, that I'm most excited for in 2013. Now in number 1 spot, um, I've been waiting for this for probably the last 7 years. I've been watching it in development and yeah, hopefully it comes out this year and it's called Aliens Clonal Marines. Now I've always been an Alien vs Predator fan, an Aliens fan as well as a Predator fan. I've always been that fan and I'm that freaking sad that actually I've got all the movies um, three times over. So um, that's how sad I am guys because I really love these movies. I, really, I especially love the games. I've always loved the games. I remember back when I was about eight playing my very first Alien vs Predator game and I literally shit myself literally that then and there. But I'm really hoping Alien Colonial Marines will be a good game. It's been in development for the last seven years. I'm not too sure. It's developed by Sega and Gearbox Software. Um, I'm just hoping it's not as bad or that type of error um, when it comes to these games because I know Duke Nukem Forever didn't really go over too well with the majority of the game community but I'm hoping this game will be because um, it's an alien game and who doesn't like shooting aliens? <laughs> I know I do! <laughs> but anyway guys, that's at number one. At number two we have, um, this is part of a franchise which I've always loved since I was probably four or five. I've always played these games on the PC and I still do. Um, it is Sim City, the new Sim City game. Um, this is, I don't know who this is developed by, but I'm pretty sure it is going to be an epic game. It, this, the guys over there always make good Sim City games. Um, I still got all the original Sim Cities. I got Sim City 1, Sim City um, 2000, Sim City 3, Sim City 4. Um, as well as the start off games, for instance, Sim Tower and stuff like that. Those those other little games that they put um, on the side, um, which reminds me, I might actually go play Sim Tower now. I've got a really urge to play that now. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's the number two. At number three, I'm not too sure about this game. It is Gears of War Judgment. Now, Epic Games did state last year that they will not be making any more Gears of War games, but then they've turned around. Actually, they're making now Gears of War Judgment now. I might not, this might not go well down with the Gears fans, um, because to me personally, I enjoyed the, um, Ram Shadow DLC in Gears of War 3, but, um, it wasn't too good because it wasn't for the storyline. Now, to be honest, I don't think this is going to be a good game, but it's a Gears game, so I could be wrong. Um, Betty is the main character now, which I didn't really like bad, but, hey, it's just my opinion, guys, not yours, so. But yeah, that's the number three. Number four is GTA 5. Now... I really enjoyed GTA 4. I haven't finished it just yet because every time I get to about 70% of the campaign done, I literally um, delete my save by accident. So it's just my fault that I haven't finished it yet. I haven't really got around to finish it, which I should finish it. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to GTA 5. The graphics look amazing. Um, but I could be wrong because they, game developers do make um, the trailers and that. But the graphics are actually pretty good. But I'm hoping they'll release the game. Um, gameplay trailer out soon to see how good the graphics is, but I'm hoping the graphics will be amazing. But yeah, I really enjoyed um, GTA 4, and I'm hopefully I'm going to be um, enjoy GTA 5. Now, in the number five spot is actually a game which I'm not too sure about, but I'm still probably going to enjoy it, and which is Bioshock Infinite. Now, I really enjoyed Bioshock 1. I've got it. I've played through it many, many times, and I've finished it many, many times, and I've just loved Bioshock. Um, I really enjoyed Bioshock 2, but I did have a little man, like a ramble about it that I actually didn't really enjoy because it just reminded me of the first one too much, just revamped and redone. And, but I've liked how they've done with actually um, Bioshock Infinite, how they just took it out of the ocean, which I really was expecting for Bioshock 2, but they didn't, and actually put us up in the sky, as well as actually some of the new abilities. For instance, I'm pretty sure I saw a gameplay trailer for it actually, I think, two years ago. I'm not too sure. Um, and one of the abilities was, was a crow coming out of his arm, and yeah. But anyway, guys, um, I'm really hoping Bioshock will be good. But anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Um, if you agree with my list, leave in the comment section below if you are excited for some of the games that I've just said. Um, but if you don't, if there's other games which I don't think that you, that I did not include, sorry, um, please leave in the comment section below and yeah, let me know and. Yeah, I'll look into one and I'll tell you guys if I really enjoy it or not. But anyway guys, um, that's all for the video today and I'll catch you guys later.